Let's see it, Nora. Bring that horn here. Check out what Nora found. Come on, bring it here. No? Let me see it. Let me see it. No, let me see the horn. Where'd the horn go? <laughs> Come on, let me see the other thing. Let me see it. No, I don't want the stick. I don't want the stick. Go get that horn. Let me see that horn. Somebody's antler she found out there in the grass. Someone cut it up. I don't know why. But it's supposed to get nice at some point today, so we're gonna go check out the south unit of Teddy Roosevelt National Forest. Good morning. Ripping the new culture of Twitter and and uh, root. Here it is. I've seen a few bison off in the field, but none this close. It's big. It's really big. <laughs> now you see him, huh? Oh, it's okay. Don't bark. Please don't bark. <laughs> Shit, that's scary. Oh, buddy. Wow, wow, the horses. Hey, no barking, no barking. Hey, bud. Maybe I'm done on this road. <laughs> Can you move? No? I didn't think so. Thought I'd ask. I kind of feel like that someday. No butt and all head. Big old neck and shoulders with no legs. I can relate. I don't got the horns though. Those would be cool. Some big old thing hanging off my chin, I could use that. Alright, I'm gonna try and drive past him. You all ready? Oh, you're friendly. Oh my goodness. Guy okay, right there. Not really surrounded, but they're both staring at me. This guy right here, when I drove up, instead of moving out of the road, he raised his uh, right front paw and looked straight at me. I think they know though. Get out of the way, people gotta move on through. Doggy. No barking. Whoa, watch 
shot for that car. Maybe the shot ain't gonna happen. Hey man, don't step all over me. No, no, Nora, 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 shit. Nora, come, now. Nora. Nora, come, now. Come. Come, get in the car. Come on. Sorry, bud. Hello. Yeah, well, can you come to this side? Sorry, she just jumped right out All the right. window. Yeah, make sure you keep keeping keeping track of her. Yeah, no, I was taking pictures and she jumped right past me. Never seen her do that on me before, so <laughs> sorry about that. I think she saw what she wanted. Well, no, she's got, you know, she's under voice control. She'll come right back. She just, yeah. I didn't um, have a chance to grab her. Yeah, she needs to be physically restrained at all times. So if I mean, if, if there's any chance of her jumping out again, you need no, to it won't happen again. It caught me by surprise, first okay. time. You have a license on you, sir? Uh, I have my passport right now. Okay, is it somewhere nearby or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me uh, see here. Yeah, take for a second. I'm gonna have to look for it for a second. Okay. Do you have your driver's license with you today at all? No, I have a valid Oregon driver's license. Good evening. It's been a while since I spoke to you last. Um, somewhere in the Grasslands National Park now. Medora is over there. I think, yeah, right about there. Right below the moon. And uh, this is where I've decided to camp. Right back there. Not a bad spot with the view. I drove off the highway trying to find this uh, grasslands campground. I've been staying at them all down the highway 83, but all the roads turned private, and then this one doesn't really look like it leads to one of the grassland campgrounds because usually they're pretty nice roads. And either way, I can't drive down this road 17 miles because I almost got stuck twice down there just coming up this little hill. So I'm going to camp next to this red... Uh, pile of utility dirt not sure if it's a good spot or not I'll find out as the night goes on I guess I was hoping to camp around some people to get a little bit more peaceful night's sleep in a designated campground but this will have to do for tonight see last time I saw you was this morning when the park ranger was pulling up on me and Nora I was taking photographs of the prairie dogs for you folks with my window rolled down, Nora sitting in the passenger seat, and uh, she saw a prairie dog and bolted right past me in the camera out the driver's side uh, window and put her nose down a hole about 50 yards out into the prairie dog's town. Well, as soon as she hit the dirt, she was no more than 10 feet from the car and a park ranger comes around the corner in full view of me sitting in my car and Nora running to chase a prairie dog in a national park. It was bad news. I knew I was going to be in for it. Um, somehow I got off with nothing but a verbal warning. I just was really apologetic, scared, and told him what happened. That you know, usually she's under control. She's a good dog. I just freak thing. She jumped out the window. She hasn't done that in over a year since she was a puppy. Oh man, he went and he took my ID back to the old, why don't you have a driver's license, had to explain that I do have a driver's license, I just lost it, and then he went and him and his partner, a little female partner who was getting nosy around my car, anytime a police officer or anybody comes up to my car they get real nosy because all the junk I have piled up in there and the back seat's torn out and my crazy bald head under this beanie cap and the black dog with her own seat in the passenger, anyways, he went back and he ran my information before he goes around my information, he says, as long as it all checks out, I'll just let you go with the verbal warning. So I was feeling pretty good. 
until he sits there for five minutes, felt like 15, talking on the radio back and forth, talking on the radio back and forth, talking on the radio back and forth, looking at me, then he looks at his partner and he talks to his partner for a little while and they talk and then they look back at me and then they talk for a little while. It was not fun. So finally he brings me back my passport and lets me go and says try to keep your dog restrained. So I do my best. Battery's gonna die. I guess that means it's time for me to go to bed. Maybe I'll turn it on for a few more shots of sunset. With a little charge on the car battery. Um, yeah, I'm doing good today. I think between the bison and the road and the park ranger getting me for Nora's prairie dog chasing, I uh, I feel revived. I feel <laughs> I feel much more appreciative of my trip that I'm still going because I think I felt there were a few times a day when I saw that it might. Uh, come to an abrupt end and this kind of gave me my appreciation back I don't know why I've been so out of it the other day one thing that doesn't help is that guy right there it hasn't been showing up too much there's been a bunch of cloud cover all over the place so that depresses me and changes my mood and uh, I'm probably smoking too many cigarettes which makes me feel anxious in between cigarettes I wish I never smoked a cigarette my entire life but I did when I was younger and I do now, so whatever that is, I don't know, I gotta kick it. But, um, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. If I don't get bothered by anybody, this is gonna be a fantastic spot to spend the night. And I don't think I will. Seems pretty quiet up here. Nora's got the lay of the land which she loves. I don't know, who knows how my sleep will be. Sometimes my sleep in spots like this are great because it's so quiet and dark and then sometimes it's horrible because I'm not sure if anybody's gonna get on me. I don't know though, nobody's ever really gotten on me way up in the middle of nowhere like this when it's and there's no designation as to whether or not you can or cannot stay the night on the side of the road. So I think I'll be alright. Um... I guess it happened once down on the Gulf in Texas, but that was just weird, weird, weird situation. To see a cop out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you got a little water spot right there under the sun. Man, it's hard to keep a camera on the road. <laughs> Especially with a dog and all the dirt I carry around in that van. But, who knows? Been reading the Abby Sunderland sailing blog, Nick Hafe sailing blog, and uh, Abby Sunderland just lost her boat in the Indian Ocean. Nick Hafe completed his trip a while back. He's the Australian that did the Contessa 26 boat. Anyways, I'm just excited to get a sailboat one of these days. 